The modern day self help industry is quite toxic and in many ways a cult. Think about it a charismatic leader who has a following of loyal subjects devoted to their every word, no matter how crazy it may sound. And what happens is that when one person has so much power over a group of people, they can do whatever they want and the people will follow because they have built great trust with them. Loyalty, which is a grand opportunity to make immense money. So, when it comes to the industry of self help, whether we're talking about courses, events, books, talks, etc., it's all the same money making content. I mean, imagine paying hundreds of dollars and in many cases thousands of dollars for someone to tell you all the things you want to hear. You're going to become a millionaire one day. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Failure is just a tiny bump on your road to success. It's all recycled and repackaged material that is passed around the self help industry and sold in the form of a course or event for thousands of dollars. It's easy money for these gurus, especially if you have a loyal, cult like following that cherishes your every word. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with this initial analysis. More power to these gurus for building a brand and taking advantage of an opportunity. I mean, if people want to pay thousands of dollars to hear the same recycled motivational quotes for two straight hours, go ahead, we do live in a free country. But where the toxicity comes in is with the predatory marketing tactics behind such courses and events. Look, if you're going to sell a self-help course with basic information that anyone can find and that everyone already knows, market and price it as such. Tell the truth. But no, 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 that's not going to bring in any money. After all, above everything else, these gurus are here to only make money. So instead, these gurus market their courses as revolutionary, a once in a lifetime event, an event you cannot miss out on, so and so's never before heard secrets to success that you won't be able to find anywhere else. When in reality, it's just the same motivational BS that everyone already knows and that everyone's already heard hundreds of thousands of times. It keeps the crowd happy and it keeps the money rolling in. It's like you purchasing tickets to a Drake concert that is marketed as an event that will be capped off by him performing a handful of new songs off his new album. When in reality, you go to the concert and he just loops sicko mode and God's plan for two hours. It still may be enjoyable to those who love and are loyal to Drake, but objectively, was it really worth your time and money to hear the same old overplayed songs over and over again? Was it worth the high price tag? Especially when the event is marketed as something else, something new, that's scamming 101. Promise something and deliver something else. But what prevents people from exposing this is desperation, the cult. See, these gurus are very, very clever. They're able to build a brand around themselves and make them seem charismatic, innocent, and caring. They care for your well-being. They want you to be successful. They only want what's best for you. And through this brand, they're able to build a loyal, cult-like following that clings onto their every word because they trust the guru with their lives. When in reality, you, the follower, is just another number in their sales funnel. That's it, it's all business. Now, a modern day example of this would be Grant Cardone, or as his loyal followers will refer to him as, Uncle G, who seems to be the face of this self-help cult-like movement. How can you hate on good old Uncle G? He's like family, which is one of his tactics in building a cult-like following. He's that caring uncle who wants nothing but the best for you. Now, I have nothing against Grant Cardone personally, and I have nothing against Grant Cardone's story and his rise to success. He was able to become extremely successful when all odds were against him, so I have nothing but respect for that. But his self-help business and educational business is another story. Now, I'ma be very straightforward. His marketing tactics are very predatory, and although Although he's very good at making it seem like he cares for you and your well-being and success, you're just another number on his balance sheet. That's all you are to him no matter how much money you throw his way. He'll create a course, an event, a book, and in order to sell it, he'll flex his private jets, his cars, his houses, his watches to get you hooked. And to take his predatory marketing to the next level, Grant Cardone is able to bring on very successful and respectable figures onto his events who then help him in selling his courses and products to build authority and to reach out to larger audiences to increase his credibility. Now, if you're a loyal follower of Grant Cardone, which he has hundreds of thousands of them, and if you're desperate to figure out Grant Cardone's quote unquote secrets to success, that's a quick purchase for you, no matter the cost, money in Grant Cardone's pockets. You're allured by Grant's luxurious life. You want that. You trust him and his familial personality and brand. He cares for you. 
and you see that other successful individuals are backing him up too. So it seems quite legit. It's easy to fall into this trap. It's easy to fall into this cult. Now, to be fair, everything I'm saying wouldn't mean shit if the information provided in the course actually delivered and helped turn people's lives around for the better, like the marketing always seems to promise. But that's just not the case. It's the same regurgitated and repackaged self-help motivation, the go out there and go for it spiel that we hear all the time that makes you feel empowered and happy in the moment. But once you step outside of that auditorium, you have gained no real information to actually apply into your life. You're just as lost as when you came in. That's money gone down the drain. I mean, he has people paying $12,000 to hang out with him for a weekend while he just goes about his day as planned. And he's urging people to frivolously spend their last $1,000 on his $1,000 seminar. So if you're down to your last $1,000, this, yeah. this offer today is $9.97, grantcardone.com forward slash shark. Okay? Yeah. You're down, a guy's sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should you spend it on this? Absolutely. I would tell you the same thing. We always hear from these gurus and from many people outside of the self-help industry that the best investment you can make is in yourself. But if that's the case, why are we supposed to give our last $1,000 to these gurus who spit the same motivational nonsense that provides no real life return outside of short term motivation and maybe some basic information that you could find through a couple Google searches or YouTube videos? Definitely not worth the self help guru's price tag. And what Grant and these other gurus will still argue is that the course is going to help you get a much greater return on your money just from the information you will learn from being around a successful individual like themselves and the mindset that you will gain from that that you can then apply into the real world which would be true if you learned actual skills be it computer science finance engineering plumbing skills real world skills that you can use to create something of value in this world Attending a three-day seminar and getting preached motivational material about how failure is an obstacle on the way to success is not a skill that you can apply in the real world. And many of these courses including Grant Cardone's teach sales, which to be fair is a very important real life skill to learn. But let me ask you this, would it be smarter to apply for a real life sales job and learn sales through real life experience selling real life products? Or would it be smarter to pay someone $1,000 to teach you how to sell over the weekend in a giant auditorium with 10,000 other people in the room? You can decide for yourself, but I can tell you this. Grant Cardone didn't learn how to sell by sitting in a giant auditorium listening to someone yell for two hours. Neither did all of these other millionaires and billionaires. I bet you, he, and every other successful individual learned how to sell through real world experience by putting themselves out there and taking action, whether through a sales job or their own business. You don't learn sales in a classroom or at a seminar. Sure, you can learn some key points, but you can never truly become a great salesman unless you learn sales through experiences selling real life products. So. If these self-help and sales gurus truly cared for your success and well-being, they would recommend that course of action over their overpriced weekend extravaganzas. The self-help industry is a very toxic industry that thrives off of the cult-like following that it builds. If you truly want and enjoy self-help motivational content, there's plenty of free information on the internet that you can interact with, and there are also plenty of amazing $10 to $20 books that you can buy. It's all the same information and content at the end of the day. Never spend thousands of dollars on any self-help course or seminar, no matter who's pitching it, unless it teaches you real-world skills that you can use to actually create something great in this world. Modern day self-help is all valueless repackaged motivational content that's passed around the industry. You're better off finding a job that provides real world experience and on the job training because there's no $1,000 fee and because nothing beats real world experience. So just try not to get so caught up in the cult of modern day self-help. It's all business at the end of the day.